Hello everyone, welcome to Flat Web TV, the monthly BMX Flatland Freestyle show where we're talking about the top news and happenings in the world of BMX Flatland Freestyle. My name is Justin Hoey. I'm Anthony Bulio. And this is Flat Web TV. Well, again, welcome everybody to Flat Web TV. Again, my name is Justin Hoey. And I'm Anthony Bulio. And uh, basically, we, we started this web show. There really isn't a whole lot of other content out there like this in one place. Not for Flatland. Not, no, definitely not for Flatland, right? I mean, because I think there's some things that have been out there in the, the world of BMX that have been around, things like this. I think Trans World BMX did something. Yep. Uh, it was more of a newscast type thing. Right. Um, you know, and I, I, I watch a lot of podcasts myself, video casts. At work all day. Yeah, exactly right. When we're supposed to be working. Um, and I, and uh, I just thought it would be pretty cool to, to do a show like this. Yep. Um, so I've been riding BMX Flatland for, you know, about, about 10 years on and off. I've been riding a little bit longer than that. Yeah, I started in 87 with freestyle. Ramps, street, Flatland is what uh, kept me in the game. So quite a long time. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've been all riding for a decent amount of time. You know, we've been part of, uh, part of scenes for quite a long time. And I th thought this would be a pretty cool thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Send yep. your feedback in. Uh, and we'll talk about how you can get in contact with us uh, a little bit later. So kind of what we're going to be talking about on the show, top news happenings, things are going on. A lot of the things that we'll be talking about, uh, obviously, are going to be stemmed from probably globalflat.com. Yep. Uh, Transworld, Twitter, you know, people are announcing things all over the place. So, yeah. We'll keep you up to date on uh, everything that's happening. Keep it all in one place. Absolutely. So we hope you guys enjoy the show. So our first story that we're going to talk about today, if I look on the tablet, yep. I can't say what it is because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, so first topic, uh, ground tactics, round Ooh. one, right? So tons of stuff going on here, right? Right so off the bat, controversy. Exactly, right? So we're in the new year. December, we had a great, uh, great web online battle contest that just happened. Fantastic. It's pretty cool, right? Ground yeah. tactics. Online battles, they submit a web video, they put, um, they, they send a link, I think, to uh, Marty Kopa, who's yep. uh, hosting the whole thing. Great. It, it's, I'm glad somebody's finally doing this. I've been thinking about the same thing myself and you as well. Yep. Um, some, of the, some of the big names, obviously, uh, James White plays first yeah. so far. Yeah, played first, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Dane Beardsley, 7th, uh, these Amazing are just the names video. that I know. Yeah, Dane, Dane's video is great. I mean, I sat down and watched a Killed good it. amount of these. A lot of these guys are, are new to me. Yeah, a lot of them are new to me, too. Um, amazing writing, you know, there's, uh, it's been pretty cool. I mean, there, there's, uh, there's some other videos, there's other people that I was hoping that were going to kind of compete in this. Yeah, you, you see the list and you're like, oh, but where's so-and-so? And, uh... You know, they're, maybe they're doing their own thing, but uh, the writers that did put their videos in, uh, definitely you can tell they put a lot of work in. Uh, I can't imagine how many takes it took, how many uh, hours and hours of practice it took, but those videos, the top 10 videos, I mean, I'd have a hard time picking a number for 1 through 10. I thought they were all worthy of, of a, a top place qualifying finish. So. Well, absolutely, right? Yeah. Well, the thing, like, like we said, that there's, there's some names that I thought were kind of missing from that. So, like, Terry Adams. Terry Adams, no yeah. Terry Adams. Uh, no Trevor Myers, right? Nope. So Trevor Myers has had a ton of online web edits. He just had one that came out the other day. Yep. And no Trevor Myers, you yep. know? Um, I mean, who else? I mean, there's a lot of names that aren't on there. Vicky. Uh, yeah, Vicky's not on the yeah. list. Um, not a whole lot of Americans. It's no. a well, what's, uh, what's the, other, the other French writer? Uh, both are French writers. Um, why can't I think of their names? Names escaping me at Matthias? the moment. Matthias? Matthias it wasn't on there? Yeah. You know, a lot of these big names, Alex, right? yeah. Um, but, you know, pretty cool. Glad they're doing it. But uh, obviously there's a little bit of controversy that's popped up. A little up bit of here. controversy. And so, it, keep in mind, it's only qualifying rounds right now. Right. So there was a post made by, uh, is it Lee, Lee Musselwhite? Yep. So he made a post on Global Flat, and he posted a couple, of, a couple other places. And basically, he's not, uh, and, and I kind of agree with him here, you know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense why certain people made certain rankings throughout yeah. this whole thing. Could be a little questionable. Yeah, it's kind of questionable. I mean, this is just a prelim round. It's round one. I don't know what the, I, I can't remember what the other, the r other round is on here. But, I mean, I think it's, basically his whole thing is that 
you know, he doesn't understand why he placed in so low in the rankings with his, his run was so original, and I agree, it was an and amazing run. And that's the base of uh, Ground Tactics was originality. Right, and you get marked, I think you get marked down or you don't get as many points for non-original tricks. Right. Right. And James White, whose link was amazing. James White has been amazing forever. Jesus. I mean, forever. Yeah. Right, I mean, he's, I mean, he's been in some amazing videos, had yeah. a lot of great cuts, but I don't, I, I don't... I don't particularly think that he should have gotten first. He did great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Hard links. Could I'd have a hard time knocking him out of first. Uh, I mean. But I don't. I, maybe maybe this wasn't meant to be a list of first exactly. one to ten. Exactly. Agree there. So now there is one last thing I want to say. Obviously, there's a lot of things that are going to happen with this in the coming weeks. Hopefully, there'll be some resolution to this. I still think Marty's doing a great thing here. I hope Lee submits another video. It sounds like he wasn't going to. Yeah, and there's some other riders that that uh, that uh, you know want to take another stab at this. Uh, I think we're we're getting a little short on time for the story here. But yep. the the last thing I want the last thing I want to say is that uh, I was I was on Marty's Facebook page. Okay. Lee Musa White posted that same thing that he posted on Global Global yep. Flat the whole thing about it. Um, and Marty said he liked the post. Oh, great. So I think he recognizes it, right? Yeah. I, I mean, Marty, I mean, I, I've never met the guy, but everybody said, from the guys that have come to our jams and stuff like yeah. that have, have always said that, you know, he's a great guy, and I think he would love the criticism. You know, yeah. take it and, and keep moving with it. It's constructive. So, absolutely. It'd be cool yeah. to kind of see kind of what happens with that. Right? Absolutely. Can't wait for it. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. So, cool. All right, well, uh, so, could, so what are we drinking here today? Obviously, I, I went to talk about beers, right? Beers. Uh, the delicious Newcastle Brown Ale. Newcastle Brown Ale. I, so, so I've been drinking this for quite a while. And the one thing that I, what I really like is it's good in the bottle, right? Great in the bottle. Yeah. On tap. Better out of the tap. Have you ever had it on tap? Fantastic. This yeah. thing, like here in, like here. In, so we're in here in Portland, Oregon, right? Um, here, capital of the the world. There's the, more breweries certainly here. Certainly, America. Yeah. I will say brew. I will say brew capital of the world. With Germany in the mix. I will say brew capital of the world. You just did? I know. The people, I'm bragging. We'll probably get emails once I post my email address about this. From Germany. From Germany. Even though we're not drinking it a, a, an Oregon beer right now. But <laughs> oh, that's right. But anyway, you can't find this on tap anywhere here in Portland. Is that right? No, you can't. I mean. I've I, just I, moved here, so I, I'm not really familiar with that. There's supposed to be a place downtown that you can get this on tap. I, maybe, maybe you know. So, so if you're right A British there, pub? Is there a British pub in the house? No? I don't know. I, I, so my wife's doing the camera right now. She's listening to all the audio since... Um, I'll, I'm, I'm going to call out our, our friends right now. Go I'm ahead. Gonna call them out. So, so we're so we're hoping to have a studio audience here for our first taping, for our um, pilot episode. Of two. Yeah, of, yeah. Well, of two, right? Uh, but uh, so we had. I will. I will come out. I'll call them out by name. But we had two friends that said they were sick. One had. One been, rhymes with hat trick. <sighs> yeah. He he uh, he had to do some Christmas shopping and had he was getting a wheel. So. Well, he did break his axle. Oh, did he really? He's got to fix that wheel, yeah. Okay, I'll give him that. Yeah. I'll give him that. Let's see. Um, Joe, let's see. He was, he had family stuff going on all weekend. But he Definitely had family stuff, yeah. Right? He's going to ride tomorrow. And then uh, Devin and James are sick. Okay. So we're here with my lovely wife. So. And Newcastle Brown and Ale. And Newcastle Brown Ale, which will. Available in 12 ohm bottles. All right. So let's go on to our next story before we waste too much more time. <clears throat> all right. So our next story, Terry Adams this on... This is a fun one. Yeah, Terry yeah. Adams on Glee. So it's been a while, right? So, I mean, Terry Adams, obviously blowing up. Do, he's, you know, he's signed with a great PR agency. Do you watch Glee? Have you I, seen it? No, I, I've never seen it. I, well, I, I'm not particularly into shows like that. Look, there's yeah. a lot of... I mean, I heard a lot of people that I work with like it, you know. They wear Adidas, even though it's not branded Adidas. They wear Adidas gear, which I like. That girl does that. Teacher. Teacher, the scary one that's yeah, also on Two teacher. and a Half Men that we were watching earlier yeah. today. But anyway. I wasn't watching that. <laughs> we were watching it here. What are you talking about? It was in the background. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so I like, uh, I like Three Stripes. Well, so anyway, right? So Terry Adams has got a spot on Glee. Yeah. Right? Really cool. Terry Adams, like I said, blowing up, doing a lot of cool things. The red bike. Yeah. I think. He got us, yeah. Um, uh, Odyssey set him up with a, a specific bike for the show yeah. he's going to hold on to. Um, it's the new flatware frame, which I'm still, I've been waiting over a, a lot two of people years yeah. to get my hands on this frame. And, and I, you know, we'll talk about what I, what I moved on to here. Yeah. But um, he's going to be on, uh, he's going to be on the TV show Glee during one of the, uh, the cheerleader performance, or the, the cheer team performances. Yep. And it's going to be on right after the Super Bowl. 
So, I mean, he's going to have a ton of viewers here. BMX I mean, after the Super Bowl. I mean, Flatland, come on. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, to me, this is on the same level of when a Day Smith was in that Puff Daddy or Puff Daddy video, like yeah. way back in the day. I, know, I guess that wasn't that long. This ago. might be bigger. I mean, this is post Super Bowl this is glee. This post Super Bowl, right? Yeah. I mean, this isn't even performing at the Super Bowl. This is like you are on, a, the, on the TV show, one of the top TV shows in the country right now. Yeah. And he's going to be on it. I think that's freaking sweet. Now, yeah, I think there's some... Cheers, Terry. Yeah, Terry Adams. Cheers. Here's one, one to you, for sure. Um, there's some other, there's other BMXers that are on the show. I don't know their name. Uh, I mean, some street riders, maybe? Yeah, there's yeah. Guy, the guy from... Uh, one of the guys from S&M Bikes is going to be on there. I saw that's them cool. post some things on their Facebook. But yeah. hats off to Terry. Can't wait to watch the episode Absolutely. on the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's going to be great. All right. So Speaking uh, of S&M... Oh, yeah. So yeah. speaking of S&M, one of the things that we want to talk about today um, was S&M re-entering the flatland market. Obviously, I know this isn't like... Chad Johnston. Yeah, yeah Chad Johnston, right? It's not top news. It's not like... It's been around for a little while. It's been but out for a while, yeah. I thought, I thought it'd be kind of cool to talk about it, right? Yeah. I mean, so... Fantastic uh, brand from, from way back, making quality American products. Uh, it's, it's so refreshing to see not only someone offering custom frames, which a lot of companies will do, but putting out a production frame... Uh, handlebars and a stem. Uh, I'd love to get some forks as well to yeah, make a complete we'll rig. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's classic, strong. It's going to last you forever. Absolutely. It's kind of like back in the day when you could get um, a nice frame. Like, I, I, So it comes to mind as a standard dowel, right? Standard, yeah. So they, they had that frame, great frame. s and Sabbath, another mm. great old school frame that, I mean, there's still guys riding them today. Nine pounds of American steel. <laughs> There was a lot of really good frames out there, right? Yeah. Which, I mean, obviously there's been kind of some, some changes in the needs and the wants of riders these days. And As we saw on Global Flat with the, the six-page or seven-page <laughs> long uh, thread about, oh, it's not low enough top tube, I don't like the length, I don't, I mean, exactly. there's lots of people out there that, that are demanding yeah. different types of bikes, and this one, I think, fills yeah. a void for sure. So, yeah, so with S&M, they've hooked up with Chad Johnson yep. with his uh, intricate brand, so they're making an intricate branded frame, yep. very similar to the LTF, I believe, yep. but shorter. It's got a very, it's got a signature uh, head tube badge. It's got the gusset. It's got the gusset on it, um, and it's really the next progression for S&M and their flatland stuff. Really excited yeah. about it. They also have the intricate bars, yep. which uh, our buddy James just got for his birthday, Yeah. which I'm really excited to check out. I've on his LTF. <clears throat> on his LTF. He's got yep. a chrome LTF, chrome wheels, yep. tan wall tires. It, Classic. Very nice looking bike, and yep. it rides great, too. I don't yep. know if you've had a chance to yep. ride it yet. Um, so I'm really excited They've to see... They've got the, the mini Flatland Redneck stem. Oh, that's right, right, right. Which, yeah, you remember back, they actually yeah. had a mini Redneck. Yeah. But it wasn't, it, I think it was like, I think it was uh, almost 40 millimeter offset, which is almost unheard of mini, in Flatland. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think they had, they had one, but this one's tiny. I think it's like... I think 26 it's like, or... Uh, 26, 20 yeah. millimeters. It's a short, real Flatland stem. Great stem. Looking, I mean, really, looking. Yeah, Sean McKinney, hats off to those. Uh, him, yeah. uh, Chad Johnson, the guys over at S&M for, for putting yeah. it together. No. Yeah, thanks for actually yeah. doing stuff like that because, you know, it, it might not be a big profit center or money maker, but you're, you know, they don't have to do it and they do it, so. Yeah, I mean, building a brand, right? Yep. I mean, you know, there are some areas that, you know, might not pay off as well, but you get a lot of respect for it. Exactly. I think it's, I think it's going to bode well for them. Now, yeah. you had mentioned somebody else, somebody else coming back into the flat. Well, there'd been a thread a while back about standard, um, and I think actually Rick Molinterno actually commented in the thread on Global about uh, trying to get some feedback from riders about what they're looking for. And uh, I think one of the best comments that he made in that thread was he's not interested in doing retro-styled flatland bikes. He wants to do what's, what's needed for today's rider. Uh, and for those of you who don't know Rick Malinterno or only know him as a ramp street rider, he was, he was a pretty impressive flatland pro oh, absolutely. from way back. And, absolutely. You know, Amazing rider. Way back in the day when you competed in ramp and you competed in the flatland and you won the overall. And, and can you, uh, can oh, yeah. you refresh our, our beers here? Thank so there might be some, uh, some noise from Standard this year. Uh, yeah, that'd be really 2011 cool. should be a good year for some American companies. Quammen's still doing their thing. Absolutely. Another American company. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, for a while there, they were a dominant force in the Flatland community. Yeah. I, everybody, I, I had, I had 10 two years, of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, great. I had a couple great, of them. Great frames. Yeah. So it's going to be a really interesting year with a lot of frames coming out. You know, Odyssey, their Finally. first frame. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're already full factory, right? Yeah. They make everything. They're making their first branded Odyssey flat, I don't know, maybe it's not the uh, first Odyssey flatline frame, maybe there's one way back in the day. I can't remember. If we're going to have to, yeah. I mean, we'll have to consult the experts on that. The pit bull brakes were great. I mean, we all love those. I don't, 
I don't tend to agree with you, but no. that's okay. Um, all right, more Newcastle. Awesome. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks, you. Man. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be really interesting to see kind of what they come up with. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, the Odyssey flatline frame's super cool. It's not out yet. The S&M frame isn't out yet. They're supposed to be out after the first of the year. Yep. I was hoping they were going to be out for Christmas. I mean, be a nice thing under the Christmas tree. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean although I've heard, I've heard through the grapevine that there might be a new bike for me underneath the Christmas tree that happens to be wrapped upstairs. Yeah, but we'll see. Even though it's after the first of the year. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. This video will be released after the first of the year. Yeah. And we're before the first year. We might have said that earlier, but that's okay. It's Christmas somewhere. Absolutely. It's Chris. Not really, but that's no. okay. <laughs> All right, so next story is uh, Am Flatland League for next year. Right, so Am Flatland League, right? That's pretty cool, right? I mean, so Again, Am Flatland. North America is making some noise. Yeah, so it's been a long time, right? So the con we all know the contest scene has, has really struggled since ESPN dropped Flatland. Yeah. I, think, I think that was kind of the major, kind of, or like for me in my mind, like that was a major turning point for BMX Flatland competitions in North America. Certainly was, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, not that they were having them in Canada and stuff like that, but the Canadian, I mean, there was a huge Canadian presence at these con at sure. all the, the, the B3, all those contests. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that died out. And, you know, there was the AFL, the IFL, which I went to a couple of those contests. Lots of FLs. A lot of FLs that all had trademark infringements. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wish I could find my AFL shirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wish I still had one of those. I, I had, wish like, I could find my NBL shirt. That's where I used to compete in the NBL. So if anybody... What's the NBL? The National Bicycle League. They're really a, um, a racing sanctioning body, but they, they put on flat contests. How old are you? I'm a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be competing in the 35 and over class right now. That's okay. They have, they, well, no, you're, you're competing with guys that are around that same age, though, now. Yeah. But you know, like, how old is, like, there's got to be some guys that are pretty old that are still hip and current. Right? And better than me. And, well, they're all yeah. better than yeah. Better than us. We don't, we don't have local pro flatlanders here no. <laughs> in Portland. We've got Joe. Yeah. Well, Joe is the infamous flatlander. Or maybe uh, Brett, though. Brett's probably the infamous. But uh, Joe yeah. has been in almost every single magazine. Absolutely. I don't know how Joe... How did Joe get in the picture at every single magazine? Joe from Portland. If you don't know him, look him up. Yeah. Uh, just Google Joe from Portland. Yeah, we'll, ha we'll actually have, we'll have a link you down here. Maybe we'll put some pictures. It might even around. be on right here. Yeah, maybe... Yeah. So Joe, Joe's a staple of Portland. If you if you know anything about Flatland in Portland today, it's Joe, right? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, when I moved here a year ago, I asked uh, on Global, I'm moving to Portland, who should I talk to? And unanimously, it was Joe. Yeah, Joe. And Joe. we'll just leave him at Joe. I don't even Joe's know Joe's Joe. last name. I don't either. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I thought it was from Portland. Yeah, it's Joe from Portland. And you've probably seen it maybe on Global Flat, or you might have seen all sorts of stuff. He actually made, he, uh, he does all of our, our shirts here in town yep. for us for all of our events. We made this BSR shirt. It's because it's his own company called Bicycle Soul Riders. Buy it. Uh, it's yeah, buy it. Buy it. We might have a store someday that we can sell stuff, but not right now. As of now, we just give them away. At, exactly. We give them away at the jams. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But anyway, and Flatland League. And Flatland, yeah. And Flatland League, right. So they started, I think, about a year ago or two yep. years ago doing uh, organizing amateur contests, yep. right? So there's a lot of pro contests that happen. Sometimes amateurs don't get invited, but they've been able to, you know, create some infrastructure and put together. Fantastic job. Absolutely. Yeah. To, to kind of to give an opportunity for amateurs to have a circuit to, you know, to achieve something, right? And you know, go figure. You know, a bunch of us that want to ride but aren't pros. Well, exactly, right? I mean, like, how do you foster, like, a perfect, you know, the how next do you generation. grow, yeah, how do you grow the next generation riders when there's no contest, yep. right? Like, I mean, there, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of riders that don't compete, and they're amazing, amazing riders, right? Yep. There's plenty of those guys. I, and so I think, uh, so I mean, my mind, Palosika, Dylan Worsley, yep. right? They're, they're not, not, not a lot of big contest guys. Yep. Um, but, you know, they're great riders. But again, but you look at uh, riders like, uh, what's his name? Um, what's that guy? Uh, Justin Miller. Right, great, amazing guy. You got to see him kind of go up through the ranks, yep. and probably one of the best flatlanders out there. I mean, pulling killer links. You know, he was winning contests all over the place. Yeah. doing great. Miss him. Absolutely. Yeah. Love to see some more web edits from you, Justin Miller. If you're watching, that would be great. Tell your friends. It'd be great if you're watching. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, so for the for so for 2011, they've got a whole new circuit. They're looking at between. Four and six slots, I've heard, and there's two, those, those last two slots are TBDs. Yep. But 
Round one is going to be the CFO Flatland Unlimited 7 in Toronto, which is I think is their kind of inner, the Canada's inner bike, basically, yeah. big bike show. It's a great contest. That, there's been Flatland at that event for years. Uh, they had La Revolution, and then it turned into Metro Jam, yeah. and now this CFO contest. Cheers and to Toronto. Absolutely. I, yeah. you know, I don't even know who actually puts on the Flatland contest. You know, hats off to you guys in Canada for putting yeah. off a great, great event. I've never been there. A lot of our friends, like Nelson and Billy, all the whole Vancouver crew, uh, Travis, all those guys have, you know. Traveled there, yeah. They travel there, and uh, it's been really cool. Second spot, Jomo Pro. I mean, talk about a great contest, all-around oh, contest. Yeah. Two years running now. I mean, it's been growing and hot, growing. Yeah. Hot, right? Like, it, I would say, you know, I would say, you know, from what all the buzz and everything, so Voodoo Jam was the contest to go to, which <sighs> there's always those rumors that it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah one so, from my yeah. homies, right? Um, but uh, so Jomo Pro is like, if you're going to go to a contest in the States, Jomo Pro, man. I hear, yeah. I hear such great things, great vibe. You know, maybe not for the, like, the younger riders that are, like, strictly flatland guys. Right. But, I mean, like, if you're, like, into all-around riding, like, I'm still into really all-around riding. Like, Love to see the ramp riding, the street riding, yeah. Yeah, you're going to see some great, like, up-and-comers at this contest. Yeah. So, it's going to be really cool. So, so that's stop number two. Uh, number three is a TBD for the event, but they're saying it's going to be, um, uh, it's going to be in Indy? Indianapolis. Yeah. In Indianapolis. So, fight with flight? Fight, yeah, maybe it's a Red Bull thing. I yeah. don't know what's quite what's going on there. Um, there's been a lot, of, a lot of things about that. Uh, and then the other one's going to be Dayton, Ohio. So I think Dayton, Ohio, uh, DK, DK, yeah. DK contest, right? Um, so they're also saying there's going to be another Red Bull contest. Uh, we don't know what it's going to be yet. Yeah. It's going to be pretty cool, but anyway. West Coast? Absolutely. we got, on the we got to get a West Coast contest. We'd love to have one here in Oregon. Yeah. Um, just because we're halfway in between basically California, well, okay, Canada. I would say halfway in between California and Canada. Northern California. Northern California. Yeah. You know, I mean, not that, not that there's anything wrong with our no. brothers to the south. Love them. We love them. Absolutely. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here. Yeah, there, there, there's not a whole lot as far as the lineup goes, but a lot of cool things. Steve over uh, at uh, AM Flat Circuit, great work, and keep it up, and we're, maybe, maybe one day we'll actually get to one of these contests. Absolutely. So. All right, so our next story is, oh, other jams, other things that are going on. Yeah, other jams, non-contest non jams. Non, yeah, non-contest. So uh, in the immediate future, we've got, uh, coincidentally, uh, another conflict, but uh, in uh, L.A. at Studio City, I believe, they're going to put on the One Love Jam, um, January 15th. Yep, January 15th, yep. So you expect to see all the, uh, the SoCal riders and hopefully... Um, some other riders from maybe Arizona or, or the Bay Area can make it down there if mm -hmm. they're not coming to our jam, which is also on the 15th. Yep, the uh, return of the Portland Winter Classic. Winter Classic, yeah. Now we had, so I, I post this up online and I was hoping to kind of make a little bit more of a, a big deal about it, big but somebody splash, ruined yeah. it. Big splash was that yeah. we've got a great indoor spot. Finally, in Portland, in Absolutely. the winter, an indoor spot. Exactly. In the Northwest, you know, the Oregon guys, the, Ca the California guys, they don't know anything about rain. Southern Cal doesn't know about rain. I don't know. Uh, Bay Area. It know. rains a lot in the Bay Area. I don't know. Ask Pete. I don't... You live there. I live there. Oh. It rains a lot. That's okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got an indoor spot, so our great... Maybe we shouldn't say how we're getting the spot. Should we say how we're getting... Can uh, we, should, we, should we say that? Yeah, go ahead. Should okay. we? Well, let's, we'll just, we won't leave it say his last name. So our Get buddy, some So our yeah. buddy Scott, we won't say his last name, owns a gym. A gym, a, yeah. A gym of some nature that we won't describe because I don't want to give For working much. out. For working out. Anyway, great warehouse. Hopefully we can have a picture of it somewhere... In Before the build-out goes complete, they're going to let us uh, have a jam there. Exactly. Which so, is amazing. Yeah, so our buddy Scott, so just to, um, I think we need to give, you know, give homage to him. Damn, he has yeah. created some amazing videos in the past. Yeah. Um, so the infection videos. Yes. Right, so this is some early riding of, of uh, uh, Jason Brown. Wasn't uh, um, Andrew uh, Ferris? Andrew that? Ferris. Yeah. Corey Stratichuk. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the other guy? Really, really good guy. Um... Steve Fong's in there. Yeah, you can watch those today and still be, be oh, pretty floored. Absolutely. Yeah. All the infection videos, it, you know, I don't think you can buy them anymore, but I'm sure you can go, like, Check either to Vimeo yeah. or on, um, uh, what's the other? <laughs> Go uh, YouTube. Google. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, they're all on there as well. So, I mean, uh, tons of stuff. So, anyway, he's letting us have a spot. Um, Winter Classic. So Winter Classic, we're going to have a pre-jam the night before. So it's January, January 15th. 14th. January 14th for the for the pre-jam. So anybody that flies into town 
or is going to be uh, just is around. We'll have, have the place open yeah. pre jam. We'll ride there and and then we'll probably go get loose. Yeah, maybe not too loose. Well, a little bit. I might get too loose. Yeah. I've done that a few times. Joe will help I, us get loose. I won't be drinking tequila for the Canadians. They'll know what that means. <laughs> Where can they find out about uh, this jam? Yeah, so for this jam, if you go to www.enjoythetrick.com, that is our local Portland, uh, maybe Northwest, eh, Portland. Portland, yeah. Portland uh, BMX Flatland Freestyle website. There's tons of stuff in there. Our buddy James uh, hosts that. And English runs that James. Course. English James. He knows how to dance. He Someday you'll dance. see it. Um, so English James made a great little website for us, enjoythetrick.com. Yeah. All the details will be there, links to it. Hotel accommodations um, that are around there, we'll probably post some links to. Yep. Um, and it's going to be a really, really, really great event. Um, it should be pretty good. So, yeah, January 15th, make sure if you can, come on down. Uh, it'll be a great time. Uh, it should go basically all day, I think noon until we're, we can't ride anymore. Yeah, like six or seven usually. And then we'll go to uh, a local watering hole and and uh, absolutely self-medicate absolutely we've got some great breweries in here uh, here in town i yep. mean if anything come here for the beer i mean we yeah. have amazing beer yep. uh widmere brewery uh rogue. Ro rogue 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 ales dead guy rogue ale yeah. amazing uh, although we're not drinking any organ beers i think we should have drank well, some organ beers I mean, homage to uh, english james yeah right. homage to english james and hopefully his back heals well we'll yeah. talk about it some of the day all right how are we how are we on time what are we at ish so we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Um, so I guess we probably, yeah, we could probably talk about the last thing. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about the last more. thing. So, little, uh, uh, kind of sad item, maybe. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Sad item. Yeah. It is. It's it's uh, end of an era. End of an era for sure. Uh, Stereo Panda. It looks like they're closing shop. Um, I'm a little sad about that actually. Don't know the specific details, whether it's declining sales or there was some hint of a copyright infringement. Uh, could be speculation, could be rumors, but it's still it's a it's a brand, it's a Flatland, uh, Flatland rider who, who started that brand, obviously, Alex. Uh, there aren't very many of those. If you go to Japan, there seem to be a ton of clothing brands uh, run by Flatland riders. 430 is one of them. Great brand. Yeah. Uh, well, but they have this like tight community, though, that seems to be very They like, support, for sure. Uh, yeah, but someday. Stereo Panda, yeah, it looks like they're closing shop. Um, I think there's still a place where, uh, maybe even Kunstform, where you can get some of their stuff the if you're interested in it. Yeah, man. Stereo Panda, great brand. Ton of controversy, great though. Great styling. Great styling. Yeah. I mean, you know, oof. The beer's catching up to me already. Um, so, I, I mean, great brand, great styling. You know, not everybody likes it, right? I mean, everybody has their own. I mean, Flatland's all about your own style, yep. right? Same with the clothing. Companies go along with it. I mean, I mean, Stereo Panda's, you know, it's like S&M, Stereo Panda. Like, totally different, you know. Different like, ends of the spectrum. Yeah, totally different ends of the spectrum. Harvest Clothing, Stereo Panda, totally different, yeah. right? I, I, I personally love their brand. I love their illustrations. So I think they did a great job. They did great things for Flatland, especially in their region. It's right? a Flatland brand. And I, if you can't get behind that, even if you don't like the clothing, it, then maybe you're in the wrong sport. Yeah, well, you know, that's right. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Sure. Right? I mean. And that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> you can go fuck yourself if you don't like fucking Flatland brands. Anyway. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that. So. Anyway. Sorry, too late. So, sorry all the moms out there that ended up walking in the room as I, some teenager was watching, watching that. Maybe not. They're going to hear it anyway. <laughs> they don't know it. They'll, they already know it. They already know it. Yeah. I don't know a 15-year-old that doesn't know that. I mean, every, everybody knows what that word is, no, right? No, they know that word. They know the, they know the word. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I think, I think that's a wrap for us as far I as stories so. go. I think so. It's the first, first take, first time. This is our first show. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just want to briefly kind of go over a couple things. So, obviously, yep. there's a lot of things going on. So, a lot of things we talked about today. So if you want to find out more about the things that you've seen here today, we've got a list of links on our website at www.everydayparadise.com. Let me tell you, I've tried a long time to get this domain name back. So www.everydayparadise.com. Check it out. Check it out. There's tons of cool stuff on there, tons of links to all the things we talked about today and uh, some links to some other things that we've been working on. Yeah. Uh, there'll be links to uh, Enjoy the Trick. The jam information, yeah. Absolutely. If you, want, if you want to get in contact with me, if you want to follow me, I'm on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash everydaytropic. Should be down here, down here at the bottom. Uh, I'm not on Twitter. I don't tweet. I'm not a twat. Um, <laughs> but anything that I'm involved with is Some probably... Might. Somebody might call you a twat. Maybe, probably. It wouldn't be me, but... It might be. Somebody, it's out there. Somebody, somebody, some, somebody that whose dog you have now might might call you a twat. 
I have the dog, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so definitely check out Everyday Trop or EverydayParadise.com or follow them on uh, Twitter at Everyday Tropic. That's right. And uh, you actually got a blog, too. What's your blog name? I do have a blog. Uh, it's very infrequently updated, and it's mostly nonsense, but it's uh, Flatlandish. Uh, just Google Flatlandish, and it'll come up. It's Flatlandish at uh, dot, dot blog. blogspot dot com. Dot blogspot, yeah. yeah well, it'll, we'll put it up here, and we'll definitely have it in the show yeah. notes as well. It's nonsense, but check it out. It's fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I follow a lot of blogs. So, uh, last bit of notes. Obviously, uh, we're putting on the show. Um, you know, we're kind of doing it. Uh, I'm doing it out of my own pocket at the moment. Yes. Um, so, if you want to sponsor the show, so you have your company out there, bike company, beer, beer. Newcastle. You know, if you want to, we're talking. Yeah, to you want to sponsor our beers. Newcastle. Yeah, it's Newcastle. Send us a keg yeah. of Newcastle. We'll try to... That's all it's going to take is a it, keg of Newcastle. Absolutely. So, so anyway, if you'd like to sponsor the show, get in touch with us. We'd love to work with you. Uh, you can email me at everydayparadise at gmail.com or you can head to uh, the website and check out all the details and get in contact with us. Yeah. So, all right. Once again, my name is Justin Hoey. And I'm Anthony Bulio. And remember to keep riding every day that you can. Absolutely. I try to ride as much as I can in my yeah. garage. And this is Flat Web TV. Oh, what's the uh, the warm up exercise that, that actors do? A lemon lies on the lemon is, lemon lies something. on the lacquer door. Right, there's, sure that's not it. there's one of those. Hello, and welcome everyone to Flat Web TV, the monthly BMX freestyle shitty web show that I can't do the opening. <laughs> <laughs> okay.